Welcome to the Gold M13 Guide Mono Warfare. We're going to go through everything you need to know to unlock all 100 camos for the gun and unlock gold. The M13 by far is my favorite assault rifle in the game and it is really strong in my opinion. It's got a really low recoil and a high rate of fire. So you're going to be putting out a lot of damage very accurately and getting a lot of easy kills. Personally, I think it's better than the M4A1, but I digress. Going right into the attachments, I have the barrel, which is the Tempest Cyclone, which has the built-in suppressor and an increase of bullet velocity, so it increases that range as well, which is quite nice. For the underbarrel, I'm just using the Ranger foregrip just for that recoil stability and aiming stability. Basically, increasing the accuracy is what this attachment is doing. For the ammunition, I got the 60 round mags. Just increase that mag size so you can shoot more. I have fully loaded just so I can have some more backup ammo once I spawn. And then for my optic, I have the four times flip hybrid. The reason I'm using this optic is because I can use the hollow sight for close range encounters. And if I need to go long range, I can use the full four times magnification and then just drop those easy long shots. Going through the actual challenges is going to go by super fast just because of how strong this gun is. So on screen, I'm going to have some recommended game modes and things to play right now. As of right now, I'm going to recommend the Hardcore, Crash, and Vacant playlist. However, eventually in the future, this will get traded out. So I recommend playing whatever Close Quarters Map playlist 24-7, whatever you want to call it, uh, whatever's in rotation, that's going to be whatever replaces the shipment and vacant 24-7. Going into spray paint, this is just going to be 800 kills. You will get 800 kills naturally while getting this gun gold. I think I'm at 1,100 kills with the gun as I unlocked gold, so you'll get spray paint super fast. Woodland is 125 headshots, really straightforward, just aim for the head. You will get lots of natural headshots if you're playing ground war. And if you're struggling with headshots, hop into hardcore. This is just going to make headshots way more easier to get because you're going to be killing a lot faster. Now the M13 isn't the strongest weapon in hardcore. It takes about three to four bullets to kill at long range. And then at close range, you're going to be getting like two shot headshots. Unless you're at like point blank, then it'll be one shot headshots. But nonetheless, headshots are pretty straightforward and easy to get. Digital is going to be 160 crouch kills. Pretty straightforward. As long as you're crouching, you will be getting kills towards digital a really good strategy to do is every time you're in a gunfight instead of just trying to jump around and act like you're playing black ops 4 or black ops 3 or something go into crouch so it's kind of like drop shotting but you're just going into crouch it'll throw whoever you're in a gunfight with off if you are accurate and fast with going into crouch because if you're in crouch for too long the enemy is going to just think you're stupid but if you're slick with it you should be able to drop these crouch kills in gunfights super easily and if that's a little bit of a struggle for you a fast way to do it is just going to be chilling around any objective sight in any objective game mode either defending it or attacking it it, you'll get those crouch kills super fast. Dragon is going to be 75 hipfire kills, and with the M13, this is a breeze. Hipfire kills, super easy. A great way to do this right now is actually to play on shipment. I was playing hardcore headquarters on shipment for two to three games, and I was just hip firing the whole time, and I finished off Dragon super fast. Going into the next category, which is Splinter, 100 long shots, a great game mode to do this in is going to be Ground War because you're going to be at long ranges for most of the game just because of how big the maps are. So long shots, pretty straightforward to do. If you are more of a 6v6 player, so you're playing like Headquarters or Domination, Arklov Peak, Grozna Raid, those types of maps are great. Topo is 100 mount kills, so as long as you are mounting your gun on a ledge or a wall or wherever you can honestly mount your gun, 100 mount kills is a lot, but you should be able to crank this out pretty easily. I did this in Ground War, especially on Karst River Quarry. I would just head into the C, B, and D buildings, kind of like that general area, and I would just find a really good power position and mount my gun up and then just drop those kills. And if you're playing core around the objectives, get a cheeky little spot, mount up your gun, and then just if you're moving around the map in general, you can mount some corners and pre-aim and all that fun stuff to finish topo. Tiger is 180 kills with five attachments equipped so as long as you have five attachments on your m13 regardless of what they are each kill will go towards completing tiger continuing on with stripes it's 50 kills shortly after reloading as long as you're getting a kill within five seconds after your reload it will count towards this challenge a really good way to do this is every time you spawn shoot one bullet off 
and just before you get in a gun encounter or a gun fight, get a quick reload in. Sleight of hand on the weapon perk really helps with this, so you will reload even faster and then you can just drop those kills. You will also naturally get some kills after you reload anyway, but a fast way to do it is just reload as much as you can and as often as you can. Reptile is 110 kills with no attachments as long as you have zero attachments equipped to the M13, every kill will count. The last challenge is going to be skulls, this is 3 kills without dying 35 times. As long as you can get 3 kills without dying, you will get one of the 35 times you need to complete this. It does stack too, so if you get 6 kills in a life, it will count as 2. You can do the math, so on and so forth, for however long you stay alive. Keep in mind, equipment and kill streaks don't count, so it has to be your actual gun. At this point, you will have unlocked gold if you've completed all 10 categories we have covered. To get platinum, you have to unlock gold for all the assault rifles, and to get Damascus, you have to get platinum for every weapon category. I hope this guide helped you out for those who are struggling with the M13. Honestly, I don't think anyone's going to be struggling with the M13, so this is just kind of like a, a extra video to help those just progress through it a little bit faster. In the description, there's going to be my Discord server, so you guys can just click on the link and join up. I'm going to have a Q&A coming up here after I unlock Damascus. Just a general Q&A, no specific topic. I've already gotten a few questions in the Q&A chat room type thing. So if you guys want to ask some questions in there, that's going to be the place to do it because I'm only going to be using Discord for the Q&A video. Also, the Damascus Camel playlist is going to be in there. So every video that I've made a gold gun guide on will be in there. And once I make the Damascus Camel guide, that will be in there as well. I hope you guys did enjoy. Leave a like if you like Minecraft. And it is scientifically proven that if you hit like, your PP grows three extra inches. And if you dislike, it shrinks into absolutely nothing. I'm about to head out, and if there is one, I'll see ya in the next one. Peace.